Hello to all my fellow radio nerds. Okay, this is a BJ318 ham radio. And here is the reason it's garbage. Actually, there's a lot of reasons it's garbage, but you could overlook most of them. Here is the deal breaker though, okay? So if I hit this repeater on high power, it's just a local repeater, but we have a dummy load in there. We're not causing any interference. Okay, cool. 14 watts, which is about what I could expect uh, with this power supply and car not actually running. Sorry about my finger there, but uh, now if I change it to a VHF channel and transmit on high power, we get between one and two watts. Now, I would have written this off as, uh, well, maybe there's something wrong with my SWR meter, power meter there. Well, no, I mean, the UV5Rs and other radios, you know, they test as you would expect, but not this one. And then I'd think, okay, well, I just got a bad radio. Well, funny thing is I have two of these and they both do the same thing. So if you have one of these radios and you think you might be transmitting at, you know, 15, 20 watts, 25, anywhere in that ballpark, uh, maybe you are on UHF, but not VHF. I mean, maybe you are. Maybe you have a good radio, one that isn't garbage, but yeah, the two I have, garbage. Guess it still makes an okay scanner and a UHF radio, but uh, that's about it. Make a good paperweight, too. Uh, that's all I got for now. I just wanted to do a quick video on that because I've seen a lot of videos saying how this is an awesome budget radio for under a hundred bucks it's probably not uh, some of the other issues you'll have is you could be scanning or you know maybe you're listening on a channel maybe you're using it to listen for logging trucks or something like that well the other thing that'll happen is it'll just stop receiving even if there's a signal being transmitted you won't hear it and there won't be any indication um, actually you will see it will look like it's receiving but you'll hear no noise and it'll just be frozen like that but you're probably not going to notice that and uh, if you're relying on it to uh, for safety or anything like that definitely can't count on it there you have to reboot the radio whenever that happens uh, whenever you notice it happening uh, it's really prone to interference you know from anything you can have a TV on <laughs> any other radio nearby so uh, that makes it a less good scanner even if you put the squelch up at nine still uh, still no good anyway that's all I got for now take her easy